Hi everyone, coming to you with today's daily devotional, this time the parable of the talents from Matthew 25. It's a story where Jesus talks about a master who gives three of his servants different amounts of money. And of course with the parables there's always something that's a little crazy, and here it's the amount of money that the master gives. Even the one who gets only one, it's equivalent to about a million dollars. Right, And so this master gives the money to them, and the first two do a lot with it, right? They invest what was invested in them. But picking up in verse 24, it says, Then the one who had received the one talent came also forward, saying, Master, I knew you were a harsh man, reaping where you did not sow and gathering where you did not scatter seed. So I was afraid, and I went and hid your talent in the ground. Here, you have what is yours. But his master replied, You wicked and lazy slave, you knew, did you, that I reap where I don't sow and gather where I don't scatter? Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers. And on my return, I have received what was my own with interest. So take the talent from him and give it to the one who has ten talents. For to all those who have, more will be given, and they will have an abundance. But from those who have nothing, even what they have will be taken away. So to me, this is a parable about using what God gives us, right? God has invested in all of us. And the thing that I really see here is the way that we live out and use what God's given us is based on how we see God, right? This third servant, he says that he thinks of this master as stingy and harsh. But all we see in the parable is that he's generous. So the way that we imagine God to be shapes the way that we live. If we imagine God as demanding and angry and taking stock of every single thing we do, we're going to be pretty fearful. But if we imagine God as generous, which is how Jesus pictures him for us, then we are going to be generous people. God has invested in each of us. And even if you feel like you don't have a lot, it still is, right? A million dollars is still a lot of money. And so what can we do with what we're given? You know, there's this odd thing at the end of the parable, right? Where the one who didn't do anything, uh, even what he has, is taken away. Again, I don't think we should see this as God is, is taking stock of how many good deeds we do, right? It's this idea that God has invested God's own love and joy and peace, all the fruits of the Spirit in us. And if you don't use it, well, what good is it? right? If there's only negativity in your heart, only negativity can come from that. But if your heart is filled with goodness and peace and love, the more you have of it, the more it grows. And so today, I want you to think about what God has invested in you and how are you using that investment? I know it's a little harder right now, but this challenge is actually an opportunity for us to use the things that God has given us. So, Find ways that you can use God's own goodness today. God bless.